see in the sports management world many examples of entrepreneurship leading to both a lot of asset creation and at times a lot of asset destruction. The sports world is a lot more complex than your traditional venture capital world because a lot of the players in that world have multiple motives. So whereas a lot of VCs are predominantly driven by returns of a financial kind, the sports world has that, plus it has people who are really after power, after position, after prestige, and that causes their decisions to not always be aligned with financial interest. The sources of creation of wealth uh, are multiple in this area, and we do have whole new ideas coming in for new leagues. Uh, assets have been created in new leagues that really didn't exist before. So the, the best example of that is the Indian Premier League in cricket, and that's now a billion to two billion dollars at least, and it's only about seven years old. Uh, we have people coming out of bankruptcy and creating ventures that are in the billion dollars of what some people call unicorns. So the ultimate fighting group out of Las Vegas in, in the early 2000s took that out of bankruptcy and now it's clearly worth over a billion dollars as, as an asset class itself. Uh, we have whole new situations where regional sports networks have been set up that didn't exist and created a lot of value for the owners. So for instance the Yes Network out of New York uh, I think was valued over $3 billion. That didn't exist in 2000. So uh, the amount of opportunity to create wealth in the sports industry, I think people have dramatically underestimated it. As with any entrepreneurship, there's both upside and downside. And so there's many examples of asset destruction. And so you want to look at what was the causes of those. So. For example, the NFL, although it's the dominant league, there have been many attempts to go after them. So the XFL was a league that started in 2001 as a joint venture between NBC and the World Wrestling Entertainment. That lasted no longer than 10 weeks and just went down in a flame. Uh, we've had more recently the UFL go after the uh, position in that market and that has lost hundreds of millions. Uh, there are regional sports networks that have failed. So for instance, Fox had a Chicago regional sports network that unfortunately for them, they had misaligned the contracting and overnight the value dissipated because all the four teams in that market got together and shifted to somebody else. So there's just a lot of lessons from the destruction as well as the creation. understand the market that you're going into, leverage as many players as possible, and just write very good contracts. And uh, avoid writing bad contracts. And I think another thing is to don't underestimate the time period necessary that you're gonna have to maybe go cash flow negative to stay in the game. That a lot of, it's just like venture capital, there is a period at which you have gotta do investment. Uh, these things take longer, especially if you're trying to change consumer behavior. Some of the technology ventures can take off much quicker. But the, the idea is that in the short run, we overestimate how much people's behavior is going to change. But in the long run, there's profound changes in people's behavior that the sports industry, as well as media in general, uh, can exploit. Mm -hmm.